Alright guys, in this tutorial we're going to be covering the process of denoising and regraining your plates. I did not mention this in the previous tutorial as I did not want to overload you with information, but it was important to get to this step as soon as possible because this is the first thing and the last thing that you should be doing whenever you're handling any type of paintwork. Quick overview. So what is noise? Noise is a signal interference that occurs in digital cameras resulting in the creation of patterns of miscolored pixels. These patterns vary a lot amongst the different color channels as you can see here in red, green and blue. They definitely have a different quality to them in terms of the intensity and size. Another relevant detail to know here is that noise has an equivalent in film stock as well called grain. It is visually similar to noise, however, it does have a more organic feel to it. Nevertheless, both of these are an obstacle when it comes to paint and they need to be removed as the first step. We start off by adding a denoise node beneath our plate. Once done, we're going to grab the noise analysis box and we're going to put it over the most flat looking surface that we can find. In my case, this area over her clothes is perfectly flat and plain. It'll work just fine. Then we're going to open the noise analysis section and we're going to click analyze noise and check the noise analysis button. Now, if you take a look, you'll notice that something has changed. The noise has definitely been reduced. If you actually compare the plate and the result, there's definitely been a big improvement, but we can still do slightly better by adjusting the denoise amount. You gotta be careful with this step because if you push it too far, you'll end up blurring the image and that's a no-go. We'll do 1.6 as that looks like that's as far as we can push it. This is as far as you can go with Nuke's native denoiser. However, there's a tool that's infinitely better and easier to use called Neat Video. This is a tool that you'll definitely find at any studio. And if you're considering of taking your practice into freelance or for your own projects, it's definitely worth your time because the results are amazing. I'll show you right now so that we can compare. We start off by adding a reduced noise node into the viewer and plugging it right below the plate. Then we're going to click on the prepare noise profile button. It'll open up a window with a little modal on top. Just click on progressive, then click on auto profile and then apply. And that's it, we have the ultimate denoised plate, just like that. And now we're gonna start comparing the original, Nuke's native tool, and this one. As you can see, there's a magnitude of difference between the native tool and need video, right? This is the reason why I do recommend it, because it is super useful and it's not very expensive, right? Next, I'm going to be explaining the setup that I got over here. We'll call it the difference setup. It applies only the changes that we've done to the denoise plate onto the original, including the noise pattern that we're about to set up. To illustrate things, we're going to be using neat videos, reduce noise. So we're going to create a blur. We're going to be putting it right below the reduce noise node. Add a roto node. Attach the blur's mask input to it and using the Bessier tool, we're going to create a small circle. Then we're going to adjust the value of the blur node just so that we can create a slight change. Next up, I'm introducing a custom grain checker tool. Go to file, insert comp node and select the grain checker tool. It's pretty simple. It exaggerates the noise patterns. Plug it to the dot over the frame hold. View cycle through red, green and blue. You'll see how noise behaves in each channel. It has a slider that you can adjust. The more you dial it up, the more apparent it will become. It's going to be useful once we start using our tool for matching the grain of the original plate. Let's see activate the F regrain here for a second. Copy and paste the grain checker. Plug it onto the key mix over here. Once you set your viewer to this grain checker, you'll notice we're bringing back the original plate except on the area that we have modified. And that's the whole point. We're trying to preserve as much as the original plate as possible. I'm not going to go into detail on how this entire setup works. All you have to understand is that this block of nodes over here, they're in charge of finding what areas have been modified. And this block over here is in charge of applying grain or noise to the area that has been modified. And this block over here is the one that will put the whole thing together. To finalize things, we're just going to explain the process of adding noise slash grain. We'll start by introducing the F Green tool. It is not a native Nuke tool. However, it has been bundled into the Nuke package. It actually recreates the same noise pattern contained in the plate that you're trying to modify. It only requires a single frame of noise to source from. 
to get started, we're going to select the frame hold here and, and pick a frame from which we can actually source some noise from. I'll select the regrain node and bring the selection box right over this area on her clothes. Click on analyze and as we view things through the grain checker, we're going to start adjusting each of the channels until they match. We'll do red, adjusting the amount and size if necessary. Green. Then blue. Normally, this is all you'll have to adjust, and more often than not, this tool will leave you really close to the result. I dialed everything down just so that I can actually show you how to use the tool properly. If we actually play the results, you'll see how our added noise blends in nicely, right? And keep in mind, this is a very exaggerated display of results. You actually look at things through the normal view. You won't be able to tell the difference. You're good to go to render your result. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to answer. Also, please do me a favor and like the video just to make sure that like the content that I'm doing is actually helpful for you. Also, please subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with all of the lessons that I'm sharing with you in this channel.